I want to play this clip, uh, and then I'll take some phone calls. I want to take this clip of Ali Velshi, um, who is uh, MSNBC daytime host. He was on Al Jazeera. He was on CNN before that. Um, and he has been so fantastic on, uh, on, on some of these healthcare care uh, tropes that have been around for a long time. Uh, I don't think we're going to do the whole clip. We're going to go through. But um, here he is talking about a myth that will not die. Look, the big thing that Republicans say is going to lower the cost of health care is dropping the rules against um, health care being uh, sold, uh, health insurance being sold across state lines. Right. And allow the states to handle this. They know what they're doing. They know we're going to block grant all the Medicaid money to states because they know what's best for their state when it comes to health care. But the dirty little secret is the federal government is not the one preventing health insurance uh, companies from selling across state lines. It's states who are preventing it. Here is Ali Velshi through it and then you were interviewing that congressman and it was making me crazy because he kept on saying uh, that what this CBO score hasn't done is taken into account the things that Tom Price, Health and Human Services Secretary can do to lower premiums and I was sort of looking at it and saying like what? Uh, that, is the, that is the holy grail. Everybody who can lower premiums would have put that out immediately and one of the things he brought up and this is something that I think we've got to be really clear about he kept on saying it will reduce and eliminate uh, borders cross state border barriers Barriers to selling insurance. I, I just want to, I can't say this enough times. There are no federally imposed board, uh, uh, restrictions to selling insurance across state borders. This is just dishonest for people who say that such a thing exists. There are no, I will say it again, there are zero federal restrictions to an insurance company selling insurance, health insurance, across state borders. This is something that is either not done because states don't let it be, get done, or chiefly because insurance companies have reasons for not selling it. It's, it's, it the, the, the Republicans have created this impression that insurance companies are dying to get across state borders, and that will solve all our problems because they will insure people across the land and premiums will drop. It is one of those fallacies that keeps on coming up, along with the fallacy that Canadians are rushing across the border to get insurance, and along with the fallacy that if you reduce all restrictions on insurance companies, a free market system will work. There are no free market insurance systems on Earth that work. There is not a single one, nor in any adjoining planets. It doesn't work because it is something that we consider a market failure. Insurance companies will not willingly insure sick people, end of story, because they offer, operate for a profit, and sick people are about the worst thing you can have on an insurance policy. So I, I think as this comes out, it's really important for us to fact check as much as possible uh, and, and talk about why these things aren't there. This is the CBO score. You can trust it or you can not trust it. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. It's, by the way, the CBO is run by a Republican. Uh, it is bipartisan. But what you can't do is make up facts to support the argument. You can say why this, these uh, estimates might be wrong, but the bottom line is those things, like letting insurance companies sell across state lines, which they are allowed to do by the federal government. There's no change in legislation. The reason it's not in the legislation is because it's not actually a thing. Those things will not reduce premiums. Free markets do not reduce premiums. In fact, in an absolutely free market, there would be higher premiums because sick people cost a lot to insure. Okay. All right. I mean, that's, and, you know, and I'm not convinced that he's not schooling uh, Karnacki a little bit on that as well. I get the sense that he's just watching this stuff happen and he wants to make sure that everyone uh, at, at that network does some of the basic rudimentary um, uh, uh, study of this issue. And I just got an IM from uh, in these sticks. I work for the regulator in my state. The whole state lines thing is bullshit unless you can set up provider networks. And that's what uh, Velshi was talking about, why insurance companies largely aren't terribly interested in it because um, it is expanding your business and needing basically intelligence about what's going on with different populations in a place that you're not used to for very little return. And because, you know, like like he said, their goal is to ensure the most healthy people. That's the only way they can make money. And so they try they need to know they need facts on the ground. They need to set up a provider network as well in terms of who's going to take their insurance and whatnot. And it's just not so. Hey, everybody. Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump is a bad 
guy. Believe me. It's true. It is true. And you can subscribe to this channel by subscribing to this channel. It's true.